Learning opportunities within technology. To this day, there are now approximately 11 million teens who go online daily compared to about 7 million in the 2000s. In 2000. Many people tend to see technology as ruining today's generation of teens and young adults, diminishing their intelligence, social skills, and life skills, as well as their mental and physical health. However, what if you were told technology, such as social media and video games, can actually present a beneficial learning opportunity? Video game design. Video game designer Jane McDonald advocates for the use of mobile and digital technology and claims that playing more video games can increase teens' skill sets as a result of the amount of problem solving and self-motivation while playing video games. Founder and director of the Wolf Institute, Edward Kessler, claims social media provides an excellent learning opportunity from those who may have contrasting perspectives to yours giving teens the chance to be open-minded and perchance broaden their beliefs and assumptions on matters in the world. Within the two stimulus sources, within the two stimulus sources, the connection that can be made is technology and its effects going further into detail of the subject is when the question arises. To what extent can the use of technology advance the social, economic, and future aspects of the world? Through this through the scientific, social, and economic angles, it is shown that video games and social media do merit the improvement of teens' intelligence and skill sets. Encouraging the use of technology in proper ways will ultimately enhance the lack of motivation, knowledge, and skill sets within teens and adults. Through the, scientific, uh, through the scientific lens, it is determined that technology, when used in the appropriate way, can have an effective improvement on the human brain. Doug and affiliated with the Department of Psychiatry and Tony and affiliated with the University and College of Medicine say their claims about video games follow up on the brain. Several studies have reported that video and online gameplay may improve visual medical capacity, visual accuracy, task switching, decision making, and object tracking in healthy individuals. Through the social lens of the issue, it's apparent that with the aid of technology, improving intelligence and skill sets within teens could only be beneficial to society. Affiliate of Information Engineering, Vocational College, and Animation Department, Young Women, and Women of Chemical and Pharmaceutical College, believe in the process of information society, new, new media technology not only affects the economy and culture of human society, but also affects people's social communication and thinking of learning style. A potential solution that may be offered to solve this issue is advertising and having announcements at school and encouraging like, the proper use of technology, although it may seem to be an Effective idea. It only it's only specific to schools when some teens are considered adults who move out and reach the age of 18. They will not receive that offer. Lastly, the economic lens of how technology and of how technology, specifically video games and social media, social media, affects teens' intelligence and skill sets. Comp TI president and CEO. Todd Tibbetts speaks on his claim, technology is the generator that powers innovation, growth, and breakthroughs in virtually every other sector of the economy, from advanced manufacturing techniques and in innovations in transportation to smarter, more livable communities to advances in education, energy, and healthcare. A potential solution to the matter would be enforcing rules within the workplace, but majority of people Within the workplace are not the future. The future will be made of this generation's this generation's teens currently. And the solution does not reach that aspect completely, whereas the solution needs to reach every age. Today, many parents and adults complain about teens and how technology has shaped today's youth into a lazy and unmotivated generation, while in the meantime the correct measurements aren't being taken as far enough to fix the issue. Few 
researchers Amanda Lohart-Hitlin and Mary Madden include in their research paper, teenagers now use the internet more often in a greater variety of ways than they did in 2000. The overall best solution found is to promote the use of technology within schools amongst teens and children within the workplace to as much of the public as possible, no matter the age in the proper way. Keyword is proper meaning <coughs> teaching the public how to use technology and learning opportunities to their best advantage. With all our the solution itself is not a surefire way to solve the problem, but is the most important to make the provided. Hopefully with the influence of the solution on teens, children and adults, when they use technology, social media, or play video games, they will realize what opportunities are being held out for them and the skills and intelligence they may gain from their experience. Most importantly, supporting and growing the youth that will be the decision makers of the future. Therefore, in order to make a change for our future's greatness, everyone must start now, help not only teens, but young children and even adults who may not realize the opportunities being provided to them, how much more they can learn that they love most in this generation technology. Thank you. What questions do you have? Okay, first question. What information did you need before you began your research, and how did that information, how did that information shape your research? Um, information I needed before my research would be um, can you repeat the question? Please? What information did you need before you began your research and how did that information shape your research? Information needed before my research was Probably, okay, the information I needed to figure out before my research would be what aspects of the world, like, it affected, like, the economy and social aspects of the world. Okay, second question. What advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Um, my advice for other researchers who consider this topic is, for me at first, I was focusing more on like just teens. So if you're like researching this topic, I would focus more like um, everybody because it's harder to find evidence specifically just for like one group of people. Okay, thank you. Oh.